Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to talk about a brand new hard drive that was just installed in the computer. This is my HP computer, and that is a screen. When you install a fresh hard drive without an operating system, it will tell you that the this error boot device not found. All right, here I have the uh, Windows 11 installation file. This is the Windows OS file that we need to do the install into the uh, into the uh, the new Ember 2 drive. All right, so Control or Delete to reboot it the system, and hopefully the computer will bring me directly to the USB which is the Windows 11 installation uh, USB file, okay? Now, in this video, we're going to talk about why the computer or why the Windows 11 installation does not see the hard drive, the brand new drive that was installed. Definitely, it shows in the BIOS. It, it is there. I know it's a brand new drive and it works, but why does, doesn't it show in the uh, installation? All right, let's take a look here. So we're going to click install. Once you have clicked that, check the box, click next. You're going to click on custom install windows here. And it says, where do you want to install windows? and it doesn't show the hard drive and you can't select the hard drive to install the windows what can you do at this point well this is the usb i downloaded the driver off of intel website and this is an intel i7 computer it's not an amd just so you know uh, so i had to go to intel website and download the driver and i save it into a thumb drive so let me stick this thumb drive in Okay, so the thumb drive is in there, and the next step is to click Load Driver, click Browse, and Lexar. <coughs> Excuse me. Lexar is the USB drive here, and this is the IRST Intel HD. That's the one I want to select. I click OK, and it shows the driver of Intel RST vmd controller 467f so on and so forth so instead of uh, selecting the second or the third I, I use the default the first one i click next <coughs> excuse me sorry about that <clears throat> And there you go. You can see that the uh, M.2 drive just showed up. It shows unallocated space. It's a one terabyte M.2 SSD. Now I can select the Windows and click Next to install it. Okay. So if you are having the same problem like this situation here, and you're not sure where to find this driver, I do not want to take the credit. I just want to give a reference. It is coming from the Intel website. I believe they may have taken down, <coughs> excuse me. I believe the Intel may have taken down the installer file. I think they may have taken down or they may have moved it to a different web page or whatnot. So you won't be seeing it in the location, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll try to uh, uh, drop this file here on the website um, If you want, please check the link down in the description below I'll list a website where you can click on to go there and download the uh, um, the driver for the M.2 drive so that the computer will see it and you can install your Windows um, using, using that driver Alright, and if you do find this video is helpful please smash the like button for me I really appreciate you for doing that uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and if you want to show appreciation the work that i do you can click on youtube super thanks youtube super thanks allow you to share your gratitude and support the work i do and the channel okay and again just for disclosure i do not own this drive i do not make it uh, i was 
it, it was it came up from Intel website, but I think they they may have moved it. You couldn't get it, but I'll put it on my um on on a website in the link description below. Um, it's just a reference for you guys to download. All right, thanks for watching. Um, at this time of the video, you might see it, and maybe later on, if you don't see it, um, there might be something wrong with a copyright issue or or a disclosure issue and things like that. We may have taken it down. Okay, bye now.